I spoke with the victim's mother today. She tells me her son leaves behind two children and says he meant a lot to the community. So far, police say no arrests have been made. It's the call that came in about a 31 year old man shot early this morning before 1230. His family says he was a father and a well known local rap artist who went by the name Lavish Rich. Other people are saying they heard four to ten shots in the area. The violence that took his life is weighing on neighbors along Aurora Avenue. Well, Aurora has always been crazy, but not this bad. Across the street from Cherry Dung's business is where police say it happened. An adult male with a gunshot wound to the abdomen. He ran from over there across the street and ended up in front of the store, bleeding and saying, call the police, call the police. SPD on scene reporting. Officers were called and the man was taken to the hospital but did not survive. My first thing was, wow, that's real close to home. Brian Blake's catering business has been on this block for 15 years. Yeah, it's almost daily on Aurora now where somebody's getting shot or shots are fired. It's kind of getting squirrely and scary out here. According to Seattle police, in this part of the city, in the North Precinct, there were 15 homicides last year. And so far this year, through the end of July, there have been eight. Before I move here, a few home left, I say. It's not that bad. But now it, 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 it's too much. You got to take care of the guns, the drugs, the prostitution, and that's a whole lot of list right there. And we've all been struggling for years to clean it up. He says along Aurora, where there's been too many tragedies, okay, this is not safe for everybody. There's now another homicide investigation. Still no suspect information. Family and friends plan to gather tonight for a vigil. As for the investigation, detectives ask anyone with information to call Seattle Police. Live in Seattle, Natalie Swaby, King 5 News.